time, I just want to express my condolences to the entire Henry family on behalf of myself, Grant Richardson, my wife, Monique, uh, mom and dad and brother and sister. Um, we just want to offer our words of condol uh, condolence and just uh, thank uh, Brother Maurice Henry for everything that he, he ever did in life and, and inspired myself, and my brother and sister, and just a, just a wonderful, wonderful man. We're just so thankful to have known him. And like the song says, we have this hope that burns within our heart, and that is the hope in the coming of the Lord. And, and I, just want, I just know that when we see him again, it won't be soon enough on that sea of glass. So just on behalf of the Richard fam Richardson family as a whole, uh, we do offer our deepest sympathies and prayers and know that we, you will be in our thoughts and our minds as we celebrate the life of such a wonderful, wonderful man. And that is him, uh, Maurice Henry. So I, I was thinking of, of Maurice Henry and he one time employed me to work as a security guard down in Wilmington at one of his, uh, uh, before his company. And I was in college and, you know, uh, I, 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 I bent the rules as I saw fit. And I know Maurice popped up one day on me and, uh, and I was at the, at, the, at the office guarding the parameter, the premises. And I had just this huge mess just sitting on the desk at the very front of the building, just sitting there. He came in like, man, what is up? What is going on here? What is, up? What is this? And I said, oh man, I, hey, I don't know what. The, he says, you know what? The guy that was on the shift before you he did this. He did. He did it all. You know what? I'm gonna have, have a talk with him. I said, "Yeah, yeah, that's." You, 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 and the thing about what was so great about Maurice, he knew that that was my mess. Like he, he knew it. Like he, he but he's such a good guy. Didn't want to create a, a an uncomfortable situation for me. And just he said he went ahead and blamed it on the next side. But yeah, you know, just I have I don't have enough good that I can say about Maurice Henry from his support down there in Springfield to, to his, his support of the music ministry there at South Fountain SDA Church and um, his support of the center. I mean, the list, the, the list just goes on and on. A lover of cars and trips and vacations and just, uh, just, a, just a good man. And so you know, we're going to miss him. We're going to miss him. And uh, we're, we're thankful to know and believe that we will see him again. You know, and then like the song says again, what a day of rejoicing that will be. So just, just again, today I just want to celebrate Maurice's life for just the wonderful human being that he was. And uh, just, uh, yeah, great guy, great guy. And I see all of his characteristics in his two sons, David. I mean, they, 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 are, they are tried and true Henry men. <laughs> they are Henry men. And I, and I love that about it, you know. So uh, again, thank you. I'm Jethro. This is my wife, Brittany. I had the pleasure of knowing Uncle Maurice from our wedding in 2015, where I could tell from the first moment that I was in the presence of an incredibly generous soul. Um, and then, of course, over the last uh, decade or so, I've enjoyed hearing a number of uh, stories about the ways that he's impacted both Brittany's and Bruce's life profoundly throughout their lives. So I've known my uncle Maurice since I was a baby. Um, well, before we met, <laughs> it's hard for me to process that I'm saying a tribute to our uncle Maurice because I, I still can't process that he's gone. Um, so he was to me, he was, and to everyone who's known him, um, but in my, personally, my relationship with him as his uncle, he was the definition of cool uncle, just always there for you, always there no matter what always would show up check in come hell or high water that was my phrase for him he's always there so um the earliest memories i had was when my sisters and i were really young and he came out to visit my father bruce um maurice's brother and he would often um have dinner with us and walk around the neighborhood with us sometimes to show us some taekwondo moves and one of the moves, or one of the tips that he always gave us while we were walking was to carry a key with us um, in case we needed to fend off the bad guys. So thankfully that hasn't happened yet. I haven't had to use that key, but every time I walk, I carry a key with me. 
And I'd like to think that that's Uncle Maurice always walking with me. So at Jethro and Mai's wedding, we asked him to read from 1 Corinthians 14, excuse me, 13, 4 through 8, uh, to shield and protect our union. And as we all know what that is, is love is patient, love is kind, it does not boast, it keeps no record of wrongdoing, it does not dishonor others, is not self-seeking. And Uncle Maurice, he embodied this calling daily in his life. Uh, he touched so many lives with his presence, his care, um, his selflessness, his kindness, and he never expected anything in return. Um, so we love him, we mourn his earthly passing, and we trust that God has released his spirit to live within each and every person who's had the privilege and honor of knowing him. So to you, Uncle Maurice in heaven, I say, fare you well. So hello, family and friends. I'm Ashley Henry Musser, and this is my husband, Thomas. And um, we are very devastated at the sudden loss of Uncle Maurice, as everyone who knows him and was touched by him is. Um, he was a very much a father figure to myself and my sisters um, from childhood even into adulthood. He visited my sisters and mom and dad and I in San Diego often, and I very much have fond memories of his really great cooking. Um, he cooked a, an amazing vegetable lasagna. He taught us self-defense very early on. We even um, were able to get out of a, a grab hold or even to flip him over early. And I still hold on to those self-defense mechanisms today. Thankfully, I haven't had to use them. Um, he offered advice often on, on wellness. Um, we prayed together, had a lot of Bible studies together. Um, when Thomas and I got married, Uncle Maurice walked me down the aisle uh, to my husband, and that's how much he meant to me. Um, my sisters and I, after we graduated from Dartmouth College, uh, my sister Courtney needed her car for law school at Pepperdine University in Malibu, California. And without hesitation, he drove her car across country. And because that's the sort of man he was, to be that reliable and loyal and dependable. Um, he read a homily at Brittany's wedding and um, he was very much involved throughout our lives. Um, shopping, Disneyland as, as young children, um, support in college, in law school, graduate school. Um, and we were sad and he, we were looking forward to seeing him this past summer, of course, with the pandemic and the lockdown that prevented a lot of travel. But uh, we did look forward to postponing and reuniting this summer. Uh, Thomas and I are expecting our first child on May 1st. And we were very much looking forward to Uncle Maurice meeting her. Um, we know that God has a plan for all of us and well, it is very difficult to understand what the plan is for his sudden loss now. We know that Uncle Maurice was a very godly man. A lot of people were influenced by his walk of life. He was an avid traveler, as most people know, and lived life to the fullest. And I'm sure he'd want all of his loved ones to do the same. So we mourn his sudden loss it's very difficult, but we rejoice in the memories and the, the loyalty and the advice and everything that we cherish from him. <clears throat> we will try to uphold his character um, until we, we are reunited, the second coming with our Lord. Um, this pandemic, of course, is very difficult um, in the sense that we can't physically gather, but we are grateful for our virtual connections with our family and friends. And um, we will continue to be a close-knit unit with our family and our loved ones and continue on. So. I just wanted to say that Uncle Maurice was very special. He was a person that always was giving and kind. 
um, he always thought about others, always checking on people in the family, doing um, multiple things for people that um, were friends or maybe people he didn't really know that well. He was just a very giving person. And um, he always had um, a smile that would light up the room. And he will definitely be missed. He was very loving, a very kind person, and um, definitely a man of God, and he will be missed. Yeah, we will definitely miss Uncle Maurice. Um, I was just proud to be able to call him uncle, be able to get advice, whether it was on anything business related, just any type of conversation. He loved his family. He loved his family hard, and he will definitely be missed. We love you and thank you so much. Childhood memories are often the best as they recall a time of innocence, fun and games, lots of laughter and uncomplicated relationships. Between 1955 and 1959, my parents drove our family from Huntsville, Alabama to Springfield, Ohio twice a year to spring time with, time with dad's parents who owned and lived in a duplex at 516 South Center. And while my brother and I were always glad to enjoy the company of Grandmommy and Chief, what we looked forward to with almost equal delight was the almost unbroken access to our friends Jackie, Linda, Bruce, and Maurice Henry, who lived in the other half of the duplex with their parents, Maxine and Morris Henry. And in 1959, we moved to Ohio, which made our fun times together even more frequent. I remember when Maurice was born because up to that time, Frank and Bruce were outnumbered when the girls, Jackie, Linda, and me teamed up to play any game. And although it took him a little while to come into his own so that he could even the odds, just being born made Maurice a deciding factor in every playground deliberation. As an adult, he's remembered for his being a role model for young people, even on extended playgrounds. And he even brought some of them to Sabbath and Saturday night activities from time to time. So please know on behalf of the Hale family, Maurice will be missed, but our family link will forever be interwoven. Love you. Children growing up, um, I regarded um, Maurice, uh, what we affectionately call him, uh, Morrissey as um, I guess more than a cousin um, the cousins were more like uh, siblings so so uh, we were very close um, uh, just as a family growing up and also a family in church and um, the neighborhood even though we lived we lived on the opposite sides of town so there was a rivalry with the different uh, with the different neighborhoods, but um, uh, we didn't pay much attention to that. But um, yes, we were uh, close growing up, and then as adults, you know, we each um, went our own uh, separate way. I got married, moved uh, to Atlanta, and. Um, uh, ended up not really going back to uh, Springfield to live. But uh, the thing with uh, with Maurice was whenever we saw each other, um, it was like uh, we never had the separation. We were able to talk to each other um, with um, serious conversations and what he always had the knack for was to uh, give advice or uh, say something that um, needed to be taken to heart, but it wasn't harsh. He had a, 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 a real gift of like giving you, giving you some, some special knowledge, but it wasn't, it wasn't like, uh, um, being being scolded or or reprimanded it was uh he had a sweet way of of talking to you and i love that about him i'll always uh will appreciate that um that ability that he had and um i'll never be able to thank him enough for all that he's done for me and i've i've told him that and um i know 
I feel good that he knows that. He knows that. I love him very much and I'll I'll miss him very much and I uh, hope to see him in heaven. It's Herman Bird. And Maurice and I are not only good friends, I call him my brother. I've known him going on close to 50 years and we have shared a lot, ups and downs, crisscrosses, whatever it may be. But in all of our relationships, we have always remained true and honest to each other. And I can truly say, I miss my brother, I miss my friend. But all I can say is I remember the good times we shared and had together. I remember some of the sad times we had together. But all in all, I love Maurice. I have admired the young man since I first met him. As a matter of fact, since I'm a little bit older than he is, I say I took him under my wings and we did things that men do together and enjoyed life together. We had fun. We even cried a time or two when he came to my son's funeral and assisted me to bury my son. And now here I am talking about a guy I love and will always love. Maurice, this is your brother. This is your friend, Herman Bird. I miss you, big guy. Take care. Rest in peace. Bye now. Hello, my name is uh, Michael Blinn. Today is March 10th, 2021. And I'm here to commemorate my good friend, lifelong friend and brother, Maurice Henry, whom I call Morsi. I chose to do it this day because today is my birthday. And for the past many years, Morsi and I always called each other on our birthdays. And I, Lord knows I miss his call today, but I've got a feeling he's gonna call me in another way. And I, I miss him dearly. I was very shocked and devastated, and I still am, about his uh, passing. Because I was looking forward to seeing him this year, because we had talked not too long ago about him coming out here, where his brother lives, but I live in Northern California. And he was talking about coming up here to see me where I live in Northern California, in Davis, California. Uh, Morsi and the Henry family, we go back way many years, it started with our parents being good friends and lifelong friends. and it carried on down to the children, which I am one of the Glens, not the Henrys, even though I, I was more like adopted by the Henrys because that's how close we were. Uh, Morrissey and I grew up in Bruce doing a lot of things together, but my most memorable, one of my most memorable memories of Morrissey was that when we were kids, we had a little business in which we cut grass and made a few bucks. I think we did that for about a couple summers. And one yard I remember was across from Elmwood School. At that time, it was a real steep hill because we were smaller and it was hard to do that lawn. You see that lawn today, it isn't nothing. It's not as steep as it looks, or we thought it was. And I remember the lady paid us $4 a piece. We could never get her to get, her, get five out of her, but she always paid us $4 a piece. And we did a good job and we did that for, for, for a few times. I can go on for 15 days, 15 hours talking about my relationship with Morsi, but I can say that we were more like brothers instead of friends. It's like I feel like I'm a brother to his siblings as well. You know, I'm getting kind of emotional talking about him right now because he, I just still can't believe he's gone. And I hope you can see this. This is a picture of me and him that I will always cherish, even though it's taken Golly, almost 16 years ago, it seems like yesterday. And I, this teacher was taken at the uh, church in Springfield, South Fountain SDA Church. And I, I believe Morrissey spoke that day. And he asked me to come to church because I was in town visiting my mother and I'm glad I did. He's a wonderful speaker, wonderful person. Morrissey was loved by everybody that I know that he loved. He was always there to help people in their time of need. He shoveled snow for the neighbors. Didn't have to do it, but he did it because he wanted to. He cleaned their yards. He did all kinds of errands for people who had needed them. He was a great, great man. Of course, he was raised by a great, great family. And I wish, you know, I wish I could talk to him right now. And I'm not ashamed to say when he, when I heard he passed away, I called his phone right away. I left a message for him. And I believe the good Lord is gonna give that message to him if he hasn't already. I just, 
it's, it's really hard to say what I feel right now, but I can tell you right now, I'm feeling very emotional about my buddy, my brother, my friend, Morsi Henry, AKA Maurice. But I'm comforted in knowing that there is a life beyond and I believe that. And one of my favorite verses in the Bible is John 3, 16, which says, For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son, that whosoever believeth in him should not perish, but have everlasting life. And verse 17, For God sent not his son into the world to condemn the world, but that the world through him might be saved. And I believe that he, he'll be one of the ones that will be saved, and I hope, hope I am too, because we're going to hit a book again. I don't know if there's any grass in heaven or not, but maybe we can start the business again in one day in the future, who knows? Hello, family. We gather uh, today with you uh, at a moment that none of us could have ever anticipated. And that is the reality of being at Maurice's services. That doesn't even sound right, uh, that that has, that has occurred. I met Maurice uh, over 30 plus years ago when I had the privilege and the honor to uh, pastor his uh, sister Linda and his niece uh, Janelle in Cleveland, Ohio. In fact, uh, uh, Linda um, and Janelle um, uh, live right around the corner from us, uh, right there in Cleveland Heights. Um, so I met him then, but it was some years later when I pastored uh, in Dayton, Ohio, uh, that I got a chance to meet Maurice Moore because his parents, brother and sister Henry, I began to come to the church I was pastoring at. And then Maurice used to come and we ended up becoming friends, ended up talking, uh, sharing together and what a man Maurice was. I don't think Maurice ever met uh, any uh, any um, uh, anybody that was distant from him. From the moment that you met him, uh, there was an affinity, there was a closeness. He had a winsomeness about him uh, that, bought, that bought you close. Um, he was always full of life, and, and that's what I recall. Maurice was full of life. He was full of daring. He would go try things uh, because he did not live life in a boring way. But the one singular thing that I note about Maurice that I, when I look back on it, uh, this was what defined him for me. There are two types of people in life. They are givers and they are takers. Givers and takers. Maurice was a giver. He would put himself on the line for you. He would stretch himself for you of uh, whatever it took. Uh, he would be there. And I sometimes thought he uh, overextended himself, uh, but that was the consummate man uh, that he was. I used to uh, like watching him with his young son. At that time, uh, he was a spitting image of his dad, uh, tried to imitate his dad. Uh, but Maurice was just an amazing, amazing brother. Uh, I love him. Uh, I haven't seen him in years, but when I heard from Linda what had happened, all of them precious memories uh, came back of having the, the honor uh, in my life to connect with such a high caliber man. I want to just pray for, for all of you and that God will meet you at your point of need. And the wonderful thing we look forward to is that we will see him again. And that is not going to be long. Hold on, family. Uh, there will be a better day after a while. God bless each of you at this moment where we are celebrating and honoring the life and memory of Maurice. God bless each of you.